everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler. I'm going to be discussing another muscle for our muscle functions videos of these superficial muscles. Today I'm going to be discussing the pectoralis major. The origin of the pectoralis major, also known as the chest muscle, starts off with the anterior medial portion of your clavicle and runs down to your sternum, connects to the first six ribs adjoining the sternum as well. It also runs down to the uh, tendon-like structure that connects the external obliques as well. This is known as the apionosis. So we have a big fan-like structure here for our chest muscle. And then it all runs into the lateral portion of the intertubecular groove of the humerus. So we have this huge muscle out in front connects to a tiny portion on your humerus. Now remember whenever I discuss the functions, that the functions are uh, pointed towards the movement of the humerus, not to worry about your forearms, okay? So the first function that we have is adduction, which is pretty much if your arms are out here or anywhere away from your body, it's simply bring them in. We also have horizontal adduction, okay? We also have internal rotation, and we have diagonal adduction as well. And this is, can be from the top or the bottom. So again, here's from the bottom, and here's from the top. Either way, that's still horizontal adduction, and that will work the pectoralis major. So, <coughs> Excuse me. The exercises, and these are just samples, you can come up with your own as well, um, are just basic, well known, I guess, uh, exercises that you can use. You can, again, you're not limited to any exercise that I give you on the video. You can use anything TRX, bands, free weights, dumbbells body weight, it doesn't matter, just as long as you understand the function of the muscles so you can apply it to your exercises because you should know as to why you're doing a specific exercise. Okay, so the first foremost uh, exercise that we all know well is the chest press. This is horizontal adduction. So if you wanted to, you can do dumbbells. Okay, you can start off here and horizontal adduct as well as internally rotate. So you'd start off kind of like you'd be swinging a hammer and you push up and internally rotate at the same time at the top and then bring it back down. Okay. You can also do uh, cables. You can also use bands for this. You can start from the top and pull the weight in. Okay. So imagine if there's a band connected to my hand and to the corner of the video here. So I'd have my bands connected to the corner of the video here, and I'd pull in, and that would be diagonal adduction. Uh, I call them V's. Uh, I'm not, you know, people can call them pretty much anything. Anything really has just about 50 different names, but that's okay. You can also come from the bottom, too. So if you would connect to the bottom of the video and bring in, that would also work out your chest as well. So, um, and again, if you have this, you can do this uh, with cables as well. So if I had any bands or anything attached to the corner of the video, I could easily bring it in. Okay. And um, pretty much just have fun with it. Uh, just make sure you know as to why you're doing a certain exercise or anything. Make sure that you know the function of the muscle so you know as to why you're doing that specific exercise. I know I've repeated myself a few times, but uh, I know this was a very short video, but there wasn't too much to it. I hope I didn't confuse you. Any questions, please feel free to ask me. You can uh, get a hold of me on my YouTube page at rfiddler073089 you can also email me too at gmail.com um, 
You can also get a hold of me on my Facebook page. That is Becky Fiddler Fitness. Or you can get a hold of me just plain old, my plain old Facebook membership. That's Becky Fiddler. Or you can get a hold of me on Instagram, rfiddler073089. Okay? So have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and there will be another one next week. Thanks, guys.